Got any questions for me? JM is the key. This is John Mendoza and welcome to my vlog. Before you start, introduce yourself to the patient and explain the procedure. Secure consent and ask for allergies. Prepare the materials needed as well as the waste disposal containers for easy aftercare. Do proper drapings. Calculate anesthesia. For lidocaine, it is given 5 mg per kilogram. Lidocaine with epinephrine, 7 mg per kilogram. And here is a sample calculation for a 50 kg patient. For the materials, you will be needing syringe, local anesthesia, sutures, needle holder, pickup forceps, surgical scissors, and a surgical pad or an alternative. Withdraw with the syringe the desired amount to be used. Aspirate anesthetic from the bottle. Make sure to always observe sterility. Remove air bubbles from the syringe. Inject with bevel up into the desired area subcutaneously. Always remember to aspirate before injection to make sure no vessels were hit as there will be backflow of blood. Check effect of anesthesia using the tip of the needle. Now for the simple interrupted suture technique, with your dominant hand, use the ring finger and thumb to hold the needle holder in a prone position. The other hand will hold the pickup forceps with a pencil grip. Load the suture into the needle holder properly using the forceps. Never use your fingers. Hold the needle two-thirds of its midway. Start the suture one centimeter from the wound perpendicularly. Gently rotate your wrist following the arc of the needle until it exits on the other side of the wound. Then, adjust the length of the suture. Form an instrument tie or a square knot. The knots are usually placed on one side so as not to disrupt the healing process of the wound. Use the suture scissors to cut the suture one centimeter from the knot. The procedure is repeated along the entire length of the wound. Test the integrity and strength of the sutures using a curved Kelly. Do aftercare and observe proper waste disposal. It is important to educate the patient on proper wound care to prevent complications. Follow me for more videos on JM is the key. Adios!